Pain medications are a really effective way of managing pain. The most important thing to remember is that you follow the guidelines and recommendations of your GP or pharmacist when using them. There are a number of risks associated with misuse of pain medications and we have seen an increase in overdose rates from misuse of pain medications in Australia in the last few years, especially if they're using pain medications and combining those with alcohol, for example, because a pain medication is a depressant drug and so is alcohol. And what that means is it's slowing down the functions of the body and the central nervous system. So the increased risk of overdose is there. And for some people developing dependence on the, some of these medications, these are the big side effects we want people to be aware of and be really careful about. There are a range of different options that people can use to manage pain and we see that these are really complementary and can help people uh, when they're dealing with chronic pain. It's important to think about how we can manage pain because medications are really, really important and essential for some people, but there are lots of other options that people can consider as well. Some of these options include physiotherapy, which is where someone is actually supporting a person to physically manage their pain. Massage is another one that is a much more gentle approach that can also relieve tension in the body. And yoga is also another pro approach that also combines breathing and um, balance exercises as well. All of these factors, it's important to think about our whole approach of how we would manage chronic pain. There are a number of signs of overdose that people need to be aware of. So if someone is a carer, for example, um, it's really good to think about these symptoms or for a person who is using pain medications. So it can be where the body functions are slowing down essentially. So that means the person might feel a bit more sleepy. Uh, they might feel a bit more drowsy their heart rate will be slowed down, pulse rate will be slowed down, they might be snoring. So these are all indications that someone might be having an overdose. The Drug Education Network is really focused on providing education, information and resources for everyone in the Tasmanian community to prevent harm from drugs and alcohol. We also have information about overdose risk and we've developed a wallet card that has that information and it spells out what the symptoms of overdose look like and what people need to be aware of and what they can do to respond if they notice that someone might be overdosing.